Hello and welcome back. In my previous video I showed you how to declare a variable, which is a pretty simple thing to do in PHP. In this video I'm going to talk about data types. So one of the ideas that we explored a little bit was that the type is inferred. So this idea of you create a variable, you assign it a value, and then it figures out its type. And there's also this idea that it can change throughout the course of the program. So there's eight different data types available to you in PHP. And kind of starting with the most common ones, we've got these four here, which is Boolean, Integer, Float, which is also known as a double, um, and String. So a Boolean is something that evaluates true or false, one or zero. Integer is what it sounds like, it's a whole number. And a float is a floating point decimal, also known as a double. This is a number that might have a decimal point in it. And a string is a text-based value. This could be a name, it could be a single character, and when you indicate these, you're going to wrap them up in quotes. These four data types are the ones you're going to be working with from the very beginning of your PHP career, and these are known as primitives or scalar types. Now these two down here, so arrays and objects, these are also fairly introductory types, but they're certainly not day one or day two. They're more like day seven or ten if you were really getting into this. So those are ones you're going to use at some point, just not not today. right? And you've got the last two, null and resource. Understanding what those are uh, will matter at some point, but not today. Null is the absence of a variable, and resource, uh, you're not going to get to that. This one where you might. So anyways, that's what they are. Now let's look at what we can do with them. So here I am at my shell of a script, nothing here. I'm going to create four variables and just demonstrate the types for you. We're not going to do a whole lot with it. So remember when we declare a variable in PHP, it starts with a dollar sign. And I'm going to use a three-letter prefix like str, indicating this is going to be a string. So strivar, I guess, how you say that, equals. And when I declare a string, it's important that I wrap it in quotes. And this is literally what I did in my last video. Every assignment statement or every statement in PHP ends with a semicolon. And this is an assignment. I'm assigning this variable this value. And it's a string. I don't explicitly declare it as a string, but it knows it's a string because it's wrapped in quotes. I could put a number in there, and as long as it's in quotes, it's going to be a string. The next one we'll look at is an int, right? Very common. So something called int var. And if I want to you know, make this into an int, I just have to give it an integer value, like lucky number 13. All right, that's an int. Not very different is a double, and our three-letter prefix for a double is dbl. And if I want this to be declared as a double, I could do 13.0. All right, if I was to ask you, is, is int var equal to double var? The answer would be yes, All right? But they're not the same type, so that's kind of one of the interesting things. And our last one, we'll do Boolean. So what's a good three-letter thing for that? I actually don't really know what the convention is. I'm going to go boo. Right, three letters. I don't need to go further than that. It'd either be boo or BLN. Usually you don't have that many Booleans, or they have names like flag or found. So if I want to assign this a Boolean value, let's do true. All right, notice syntax highlighting, letting me know that that's a Boolean value. And if I were to check the type of that, it's going to be a Boolean. Now, there's not a whole lot I can do here other than just show you that this has absolutely no bearing, these three letter prefixes. This is just a convention and it makes your program easier to read. But in PHP, types aren't as important. So I guess you don't really need to do that. And that's kind of all I'm doing in this tutorial is showing you how to create variables of different types. And now you can't tell the different types. And there are ways to compare these. You can do a triple equals, and that's one way to compare types. Um, all right, and there's other ways to test things. And I'll show those in one of my future videos. But for now, that's how you create variables of different types in PHP. So you just assign a value, and it uh, takes care of itself. Um, next video, we'll get something more done, more constructive than this, I promise. Thanks for watching.